us your name and your title. I'm Charles Smith, and I'm an artist. We're here at MSU's School of Architecture, and the title of the exhibit is Double Take the Two Sides of Charles E. Smith. Tell me what that means. That means that we all have two, two personalities. Every person that living has uh, two sides, whether they want to accept it or not. That. And you also paint front and back. Yeah. So it can be kind of taken that way too. Tell us about some of your, your paintings and your style of painting. How would you describe it? Being creative and being bold enough to do what you want to do in art. Not being traditional, following the same pattern that everybody else does. If you're an artist, I think a person should be an artist. What is your creative streak? How does your paintings come about? When I sit down, and stuff come to me and I do it. It's just like that. I don't, I don't plan nothing. I don't sit down and plan them. I'm going to sit down and paint this picture. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. I sit down and I paint. Mm -hmm. Point blank. I sit down and I write a story. Charles Smith and I met at the farmer's market on High Street um, a couple of years ago. I just fell in love with his work and kept going back to visit. And we just got to know each other. And it is a beautiful, heartfelt, soulful. Every single piece is inspired by something, whether it's a thought in his head or a person or a color or art. He will walk out in nature and it may be a twig that he sees, be inspired by grass or a flower and um, or somebody he meets. It's just raw feeling from what comes from within him and just spills out. Now, would you say you are a collector of art? Do you collect other artwork, or is your house filled with all of your artwork? I don't paint for me. I paint for people, to encourage people to look at another side of life. There are so many things in this life that are gifts, and art is a gift. You have it or you don't have it. Um, when somebody chooses to use this gift and share it with other people, it's such an honor to have and to be around. What can we expect from you next? Are you working on anything in particular? Are you always painting? Yeah. You can expect the best from me. That's all right, Ms. Smith. <laughs>